Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a week and a half without pouring and I've missed it so much. I've had a wonderful holiday away, um, but I can't wait to actually get messy again and just start paint pouring. Um, while I've been away, I've been thinking, right, what do I really want to work on? And what I'd like to try is to do a Dutch pour and get that lovely twist. There's one up here, it didn't have a twist, but I did a similar one and I managed to get that twist and I've been really thinking it through of how to get that so it looks like the paint is is like a ribbon that's twisting. So this is going to be experiment one. I've got a plan of how I can achieve it. I want to see if it works. Um, so let's get started. So I have here 30 by 42 centimetre canvas. Um, it's been used before, so you can see a design underneath, but I've put some gesso to try and um, to try and hide it. I'm going to use this amazing colour. It's the Iridescent Blue Black by Pebby, a studio acrylic. Um, and I've used it before for a base and it just had this beautiful shine. So I'm going to use that. I've got some dark Prussian Blue, Pebby Prussian Blue, Amsterdam Quinacridone Light and then some um, Pearl White as well. They're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency. So I've mixed them two parts flood fluoratrol, one part paint to three quarters of a part water, except for the iridescent, which is one part water. So a little bit more water. So let's just cover the base first of all. To put the colours down, as uh, the design colours down, I'm going to do a sort of very shallow S shape across the canvas. <clears throat> so let's start with the most contrast, which is the pearl white. And I will come back and put more paint on, I think. And then the pale pink. Ooh. That's come out lumpy and I didn't shake it enough. Right, that might be a problem. That came out a bit lumpy. Right, let's go for some of the dark blue. So I really want to keep this colour scheme quite simple with these three colours, but I want quite a lot of paint. Right, so what I'm going to do, so if you find, think about the middle point here, in fact that's not really the middle, let's just tilt it slightly. My plan is to blow almost on the blue and up in this direction here, and then almost on the blue here and down in this direction. In fact, should I put any more blue down? Maybe I should just be putting a little bit of extra blue here and here just to help that flow. So if you imagine, so it's going up here and down here. So it's sort of going like that. So I'm going to be blowing this blue over the top. We'll see what happens. Right, let's see what happens. Right, it definitely worked, but there's definitely something wrong with my paints. That pink has split. I wonder why. Okay, let's just um, work on this. I'm not happy with the paints, but this is just an experiment. So, and I think I might have got the twist. Right, I'm just going to show you close up. Unfortunately, I, I am going to scrape this because the colour has split. It's totally useless as a painting, but it has worked. So I still want to show you. Um, so you've definitely got the colour coming down here and then up there. So you can see you've got this quite neat twist right in the centre. It's a bit of an illusion. You have to see it, I think, stepped back. But let me show you what's happened with the paint. Can you see the what? The pink totally, totally split. Now I use Flood Fluoratrol and I buy it on eBay and the Flood Fluoratrol that I have just been using, um, when I opened it last week or, or a couple of weeks ago, it's got a really awful smell to it. Um, so I don't know if I've got a, a dodgy bottle of uh, Fluoratrol, 
uh, flood flower chart. Has anybody have had that problem where they've opened some flood flower chart and it's smelt funny? Because I wonder, I wonder if it's a problem with the flood flower chart. Um, so real shame. I'm going to scrape this because it's it's useless. But as a first experiment, this has worked. Um, this is yeah. I've got the twist. I'm happy with the technique. So I've scraped the canvas. I'm going to go again with similar colours. I haven't got enough of that blue mixed up. So I'm going to do a Prussian blue base um, instead this time. Right. I'm going to do a slightly different shape desk this time. See, that's come out a lot better now, maybe because I've um, given it a really good shake. Let's put some silver in. Oh, excuse me. Do you know what? I'm going to mix it up. I've just got some other paints here, some purple. Let's add some purple. I'm just adding a little bit more at the edges so I can get a more intense colour at the edges where it's going to fan out a bit more. Right, so same again. Um, just going to blow... Fact, I should be doing this the different way round, shouldn't I? It needs to be. Like that. Right, that's worked just about. I've got less of the twist. I'm so, so happy I did it again. I love this at this time, really happy with it. In fact, let me show you. Oh, now you can't see it properly because of the light. Um, I've definitely got that twist. It's quite a chunky twist. I think what I might need to do is just concentrate on having less paint in the centre. Um, but it's beautiful. So they're the only real cells I've got. Um, but look at the sparkle. It's so pretty. Um, I made it really nice and fluted around the edge here. Um, and then it's a little bit straighter on that on that inside edge. Um, really, I just love the colours. Um, I really like the composition and the design. It hasn't split. So the paint, oh, sorry, I think it looks fine. I think maybe it had just settled in the bottle and I hadn't shaken it enough. Maybe that was why. Um, so glad, though, I followed my my instinct and just scraped that because it. I wouldn't have kept it. Um, so there's no point keeping it when it's wet. Just scrape it, reuse the canvas straight away. Here's the dry result it's worked so happy i've got a, it's not the perfect twist but it is a twist you definitely get a sense that this is the bit of ribbon or something is there and it's just, then just twisted round to come up this the other side so really happy with it you might think it looks a bit dark it does let me tell you what happened so along the, the these bits of negative space it when it dried for some reason it had loads of little white speckles like little white bubbles in it white air bubbles so I needed to cover it so I poured on some once it was dry I poured on what I thought was this blue but I poured the wrong color on I poured on Payne's gray so actually in fact you can see the little air bubbles they're now not white though you can just see the texture so I poured the wrong color on so it's now Payne's gray 
for the negative space instead of the dark Prussian blue. Um, but actually, I think that gives it even more depth because you can see that it looks like the ribbon is now on top with, you know, the, the, the um, negative space makes it look like it's um, the, the negative space is set back more. The design is sticking out more. Um, so let me show you the close up. Um, the colours are just gorgeous. So happy that the colours didn't split. Um, really pleased with those cells. It's a shame there's not more cells. Um, I think that was to do with the consistency of the paint um, and the slightly different flow control, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. Um, so the big question is do you think there is the twist? Do you, can you see it? Um, I'd love to know what other people think of this design. Great, thanks so much for watching. Um, take care, everyone. Bye.